Yeah, I remember Nat Young and his surfing schoolmates. They used to come down to the beach in the old wagon with Murph the surf painted all over it. They were a rowdy bunch. They started off in the surf club as gophers, you know, going for this and going for that. The buckers wouldn't do their patrol duty though. When the waves were good, you couldn't keep them off the bloody boards. He's done all right for a surfy though. These days he owns a couple of surf shops and not long back he wrote a book on the history of surfing. As a kid growing up in the 60s and as one of the first professional surfers in the early 70s, surfing has always been the love of my life. Over the past 10 years the history of surfing has become a complete obsession with me and in this program I'm going to present the history of Australian surfing. This is where it all started. It was the 15th of January, 1915, at Freshwater Beach on the north side of Sydney. A crowd gathered to watch the legendary Duke Manamoku create history by being the first person to ride a surfboard in Australia. The Duke had won a gold medal for the 100-yard sprint at the 1912 Olympic Games in Sweden. Directly after this memorable swim, the New South Wales Swimming Association invited him to come to Australia and demonstrate his winning form. 